what is the, our institution's preference for grading and staging acute GVHD? We use the IBMTR grading system um, with a combination with the Glucksberg scale. So we consider the quantity of diarrhea and the organs that are involved. Um, and that would be the skin, the gut, and the liver primarily. In this regard, the patient received GVHD prophylaxis with tacrolimus and methotrexate. On day plus 22, uh, the presumption is that the patient is still on full dose therapeutic tacrolimus. So there are two options, um, in my opinion, for treating this acute GVHD presentation. That would be um, high dose steroid therapy, which is what this patient received. And, I'll, and an alternative treatment would be with serolimus. So there was a trial comparing serolimus to high dose steroids for initial presentations of acute GVHD, which essentially showed equivalent outcomes. So another option besides steroids would be um, starting the patient on rapamycin serolimus. What are the outcomes with initial systemic corticosteroid therapy for patients with uh, grade two to four acute GVHD? Um, when I think about this question, I um, try to assess level of data and what's the best data to answer this question. There was a randomized trial comparing um, two to five milligrams per kilogram high dose steroid therapy for patients who develop steroid refractory GVHD. In the patient population that was considered for enrollment, the um, risk of developing steroid refractory acute GVHD in that setting was approximately 30%, meaning that 70% of patients did respond to the um, high-dose steroid therapy. So uh, among the patients with grade two to four QGHD who do require steroid therapy, the overall response rate to steroids is about 70%. Um, there are some nuances to that. The type of organ involvement, the severity of the grading system all affects the potential response to steroids. I generally wait about, um, a week, um, sometimes 10 days, and then start a rapid taper. Well, there was a clinical trial looking at the addition of beclomethasone uh, for prevention of GVHD recurrence. In this trial, the patients were treated for a total duration of 10 days, and then the steroids were rapidly tapered. And the beclomethasone, the addition of that, um, allowed patients to be more successfully tapered. We generally also start patients on budesonide if they have lower GI tract symptoms, as this patient does, because this patient has some diarrhea. Um, so we'd be talking about giving the patient about 10 days of therapy with concurrent beclomethasone budesonide, followed by a rapid taper as they remain on the beclomethasone and budesonide.